Welcome back, folks. I have good and bad news for you. Uh, today's episode of Transport Fever 2 is going to be the last one. And it's simply going to be the last one because the game is starting to struggle a little bit. Uh, we're, we're struggling quite a bit when... Um, uh, when building and stuff like that, it's it's really it's really not easy. Uh, so, but this up here is starting to go well. So what we're going to do today is we're we're we're, we're going to take a bit of a look around, look at our cities, look at our trains, see how they're doing, um, and just uh, enjoy the ride on some trains, stuff like that. Now, I do have another Transport Fever 2 series planned out. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be all about, but it's going to be fun. Um, I don't know if I'll start that series right after this one, or if I'll take a little break from Transport Fever 2. I haven't really figured that out yet, uh, because there are other games that I would like to, to play and try and so on. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out, and no matter what, uh, a new series will be starting uh, of either Transport Fever 2 right after, or something else. Maybe Timberborn, maybe... Uh, maybe Star Sector. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out, I promise. But let's go down to the center of the map and see how our main area is doing, our starting area, you might say, around here, around Murrieta and uh, uh, Olaith, Lubbock, stuff like that. And there is a lot of goods sitting here. Look at it. It's insane. But it, it's not that many of each, but it's a lot of goods. A lot of goods, a lot of uh, oil stuff. So yeah, the hopper isn't doing great. The stakeholder isn't. Uh, what about up here in Murrieta? There's also quite a bit of stuff sitting around waiting to be transported. And I love it. Okay. Santa Rosa also has quite a bit of stuff waiting to be hauled. Wow, look at the stakeholder here. It has a lot. What's coming in here? Is that a stakeholder? Yeah, it is. Loading up on a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It's basically a full train. There's just a little bit of plank sitting there left. And what's coming after it? Oh, here comes a cargo hauler. Which doesn't have a lot on board, but it should get quite a bit on board here. Wow, this train has not made a profit for a while, it looks like. Let's see, what do you get on board? Well, you're getting grain on board as well, that's not ideal. Shouldn't be getting that. Got some tools. And a bit of coffee beans and that's about it. How is the passenger train looking? You're one and a half full. You have quite a lot, Maria. With passengers on you. How, how much do we make from that? 462,000. That's not bad. What about you? Ooh, you have a lot. 25 million. Who just made off of that? 
That's pretty good, I'd say. And it's getting full again. Wow. Uh, how many fluid haulers do we have? 23. And it doesn't seem like it's enough. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Alright. Well, let's see. What is the largest town that we have? I'm guessing it's Lubbock. Uh, but, oh, that's industries. Uh, not towns. I'm guessing that it's Lubbock. Yeah. So Lubbock is our biggest town. Yeah, it's pretty big. Let's turn all these icons off. And just enjoy the view. That is a pretty big town. Olaith is pretty darn big too. Let's see, where is our headquarters? Didn't we put it in Olaith? It's that one. There's our headquarters. Let's see. We have eight and a half billion worth of assets. Our liquidity is 3.6 billion. Our inventory is almost 5 billion. Real estate, 213 million. Vehicles, 4.7 billion. Our value is 8.6 billion. Profit in the last 12 months minus 76 million. That's not so good. Road vehicles, 1,441 motor vehicles. We have 54 trams, 196 trains, 68 air ships, and 14 aircraft. Top speed is, of course, an aircraft. Length 332. Oldest vehicles. List. The oldest vehicle is 323 years? That's not right. We haven't even been playing for that long. Uh, total tracks 508. Thousand meters. Most of it is electrified. It's not actually not all of it. That's electrified. Uh, total high speed fire, 106. 46,000 meters of bridges. Even more tunnels. We've transported almost three and a half million cargo. More than half a million passengers. Wow, we have 263 lines and 24 different cargo types. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Let's see. That's our value. It's dropped a little bit. And our bank balance is kind of stable around the four or five billion. If we take a look at our account uh, finances, so 2016 we've made 115 million, 122 million so far, 169. Wow. That is going up pretty fast. That is going up pretty fast, and we're in June. So we're halfway through the year and we've made almost a quarter of a billion. Not bad. If I had a company that made that, I would be pretty proud of myself. In real life, that is. Now, Columbia over here is pretty darn big too. It's a big, big, big town, man. Now, I want to... There is something I want to do, because I want to see where are our fairies. They're over here. Uh, so we have six on here. 
So if we replace these vehicles, I want to see the Diamond Ferry. We definitely don't need as many of these. I think we can do with half. Yep, so. And we will replace these for these. I want to see this ferry. That is pretty cool looking. That is pretty cool looking. Oh, there comes a our craft. I really like this. There's the two passengers on board. That is a cool looking ferry. It really is. It really is. And the and we now have 27 passengers on board. All right. Yeah, I like this ferry. It is very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right. And it's almost as fast as the hovercraft. Which is insane. We got six people on board. How many do you have on board? Thirteen. Yeah, so we probably just need two of these ferries or something. But I really like the fact that these towns in here are so huge. I think that is really cool. And even, I mean, even down here at, uh, is this Yonkers? No, it's not. Uh, that's Midland. This is Yonkers here. I mean, Yonkers is a pretty big town as well. But Lubbock takes the cake. That is a big, big, big city. I'm a little bit disappointed that Murrieta and uh, Santa Rosa aren't bigger. But I guess it is what it is. I guess it is what it is. Look down here, they've started building a little bit on the other side of uh, the railways. Or the rail station. Columbia. There's a few houses on the coast. That's about it. All right, so how are we already making a loss in 2017? We haven't even entered 2017 yet. That I do not understand. We're making money on the railroad and the water. We're not making money on the road. That surprises me because our road lines, most of them are making money. Ah, maybe not most. And the ones that aren't, really aren't. Oh, I forgot to put vehicles on these lines, I guess. Okay. And there's still quite a lot of uh, towns that we haven't hooked up, unfortunately, but we'd never end the series if we needed to hook up everything, and I think the game would 
would die. Certainly my computer would cry before we could do that. So Minneapolis, Savannah, Centennial, Killeen, Antioch, Palm Bay, Sterling Heights, Chicago, Knoxville are not hooked up yet. Neither are Stamford, Gainesville, Cary, and Providence. And then we have a few down here. Austin, Montgomery, Billings, Erie, Tallahassee, Des Moines aren't hooked up. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I think in the next series, our goal is going to be to have passenger services at least for every single city. And try and maybe focus on getting three or four towns to be really big. As in really really big so focus on supplying them with with everything they need i mean lubbock here is is pretty big uh and the destinations and stuff is is good for it but the deliveries it's getting is horrendous right it's getting nowhere near enough so I think we'll we'll focus on three or four cities, get them uh, fed with everything that they want, uh, but hook up passenger lines to everything, and maybe try and, and, and get some of the other towns uh, fed with something as well, at least, so that they grow as well, right? But not all of them. I think that's going to have to be the plan. I think that's going to have to be the plan. Uh, let's actually... We can... Come down here. Do we have a plane that's taken off? We do. So let's just have a look at our... city here. Oh, are you not taking off? You're not taking off right now. Are you? Oh, you just need to get down to this end to take off. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's one coming in. Come on. Get on the runway. Alright. Let's get on the plane. All right, here we go. Take off. All right, all right, all right. There we go. I'm heading up to Abilene so we can see the entire city or the entire map on this plane ride. We'll fly over all the big cities. There's Provo. Lubbock over there, our biggest town. That is, town is huge. Olathe is pretty darn big too. But nowhere near as big as Lubbock. We have Murrieta here. And Santa Rosa. Colombia over there. In the distance. El Paso. We got all our ships. Some Acula down there. It's a pretty big town too. Now, in the next series, I think I want to focus on, uh, as well as 
growing some towns really, really big, I think I want to focus as well on making some interesting train stations and and stuff like that. So maybe have some very central train stations in the bigger towns and maybe even uh, an underground station, stuff like that. I think that could be pretty fun to do. Look at it. This game is truly gorgeous. You see our trains going down there. There's a bit of a backup. Of trains. Wow, there's four four oil drains right there. So in the next one also, I don't want to have these very mixed train lines, I think. I think I want to specialize them so that they are doing one or two things and that's it. And the spine lines, while I think fun and maybe realistic, uh, I think they, they can't haul, haul enough cargo uh, to, to make them really, really e efficient and good. Because there's just too many different cargo types and they'll pick up a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I just don't think it works. I just don't think it works. All right. And touchdown. But one thing I would like to do is come way down here. And I think we'll finish off with a ride on one of these. Whoa. Oh. And just see all the trains go by, see the landscape. There's a train up there ahead of us. Cargo train, a box train. So we actually have a full Hall here, 220 crude and 120 fuel. It's a hopper train. Another oil train. Man, I really do the lo love this game. It's so beautiful. It truly is beautiful. Oh, look at all the trains. I love it. I absolutely love it. And here we come into Frisco, where it looks like we have some stuff waiting to go the other way, but not so much this way, which is good because we don't have any space for it. Are we going to load, unload some fuel for Frisco here, maybe? Yep. And we're going to unload some cruel as well. Hopper. There was just a box and here comes another oil. Man. And just look at the landscape. There's one of our trucks. Several of our trucks. They're going to have a hard time crossing these uh, spine lines. There are so many trains. We're going very slow on this one. Feels like. Well, we're heading up to Provo.
Uh, that's why we're going so slow, I think. This is a uh, this is where we have the rough bit of track, right? Oh, a new vehicle. Yeah, we have a rough bit of track here. Rough bit of track. How's Provo doing? Five hundred and two. Provo never really got that big, but look at the growth potential it has here. It has pretty good deliveries and and good destinations and so on, but it just doesn't feel like growing for some reason. Don't know why. Nope, that was plain. O length is kind of okay as well. Public trend for 260%. 13,145. Do you have 17,000? Why do you have more connections? I mean, I don't really understand that because every, no matter where you are in Provo or in Olathe, you should be able to go to the same places, right? The Olathe even has the airport where there are no passengers waiting, but you picked up five at least. We picked up six. You're coming in with eight. You're coming in with or taking off with six. Okay. It's a shame the airports aren't more useful in Transport Fever 2, I think. I think it would have been really nice if the airports were more useful and actually made money. Yeah, that would have been nice. Alright, I think we're going to call it here, guys. I do appreciate that you have sat through, I guess this is episode 73, so 73 episodes of Transport Fever 2. Uh, sat and watched all those episodes and all your comments. They are very much appreciated. Uh, and I do appreciate you guys... Uh, showing up for, for Transport Fever, because I do love the game. Really do love the game. Memphis has a nice part there. But anyway, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another series.